Let's dive right in here with some more historical items, shall we say. And let's start off with the Stratford School Building. We made the decision this past meeting to convert this into a neighborhood middle school. This is a really complex process, correct? Let's, yeah. let's kind of walk through here. Yep. Well, uh, I think the schools have growing enrollment, so they have been undertaking a very significant growth plan. Um, their capital plan over the next 10 years really covers the projected growth over the next 10 years. And uh, last month, we dealt with the Wilson School. That school in Roslyn will become the new home of H.B. Woodlawn. That opens up the current H.B. Woodlawn um, building, uh, the Stratford building, the old historic Stratford building, to become a neighborhood middle school. And we'll be adding an addition. Uh, so the capacity between the two schools will be a, at least 1,000 seats addition. The big challenge with the Stratford School, and the other challenges with every school when you do an addition, where, what's the most uh, logical place, how do you protect the environment, how do you deal with transit and tra transportation needs, was also that this one is an old historic, a very important historic resource in the county. So ensuring that the new design uh, met uh, and protected the historic integrity of that building was very important and a lot of work with the neighbors, the school system, and the county to make sure that happened. Now, are you happy with the out outcome in, in it, the end? It, it really turned out to be a, a it's going to be a lovely building. The addition will be about 300 new seats. Uh, most of the kids going to this school are going to be within the walk shed area, and that's what a neighborhood school is. So many of them will be able to walk, bike, and get to school without um, getting in a, a car. Um, and the, the historic, I, I think I'll re-emphasize re the importance of that. It helped guide where that addition went because the integration issue the, in Virginia, this was the first school to be integrated right. in the Commonwealth. And it has a very important place in history so that where that addition went and how it was designed, how it sort of reflected or complemented the existing school building was very important in this process. And we really applaud the schools for doing a good job. And the students are going to get an added history lesson every day when they're in the building, yeah. just a being a part of that. Absolutely. There'll be other ways, I think, throughout the building that this will be commemorated and um, captured. Mm -hmm. Now, you touched on this at the beginning of the segment, but this is kind of an ongoing issue. We have rising enrollment here in Arlington, and we're running out of space for within our schools. So yeah. this is kind of an ongoing issue, isn't it? It's a big challenge for the community. I mean, we're, I say this all the time, we're victims of our own success. The schools are so good that um, as new, um, new folks come to the county and some are drawn to the county because of our public school system, we have to meet the needs, and, and we are. Um, uh, one of our biggest challenges is land. And we, learned, we, we know that, and we learned it through the community facility study. So we're looking to build up, we're looking to build under, we're looking to build over, we're looking to do joint facilities. We have not had a school building built in decades that is only a school building. All of them are open to the community for a variety of meetings, whether it's the use of the gym or the theater or, or meeting space for the community. So uh, everyone, including this new Stratford Middle School, will actually serve many needs of the community, whether inside the building or the fields and uh, open space outside the building. Okay, what are some of the other school projects that, I mean, we touched Wilson School. Mm -hmm. Looking down the horizon, are there any others that are on the agenda? This month, we're taking up another one. So we had three in a row. We had Wilson School in February. In March, we had the Stratford Middle School. And next month, we will take up a use permit request for a new, brand new school, uh, TJ Elementary School, oh, okay. on the campus of the existing Thomas Jefferson Middle School. And that one has gone through a, a broad community process. I think there's a lot of consensus, as we understand it, uh, working toward the board for this use permit. Um, but that will be a brand new school. Um, in fact, I believe it's the Patrick Henry Elementary that will move there and open up the Patrick Henry School that exists now to, to uh, uh, be a different school. What do you think is really the key to kind of getting that balance between meeting um, the school's need for more space, but then keeping budgets in check and making sure all of our space is well utilized? Is it really the flexibility? And well, you know, it's collaboration. Honestly, there are very few communities in which the school system, which is separately elected, and the county or city work nearly as collaboratively as we do. We're forced into it, partly because of limited land. It's all public land, so we have to make the best use of it. But we also have such a common set of values and, and goals here. Everyone, whether you have kids in the school system or not, values 
public education. I mean, only 15% or so of our adults have kids in the public school system, maybe 16, 17% now. But all the rest still understand the value of investing in public education because that is the future, whether it's your kids or someone else's kids. So we work really hard at it. Um, and that's why every one of these buildings has to have multiple purposes and uses to be able to sort of justify that investment, but also take advantage of limited land resources. It's kind of a good problem to have that our schools are so good, more and more people uh, want to come here. That's the way I look at it. It's the same with land. We have more people that want to live in the county than we have room for. It's a challenge, something we have to tackle, something we're capable of tackling, but it's because a lot of things are working and, and going right. Mm -hmm.